Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, episode 491. Today, we're announcing the launch of our brand new strength and conditioning program. But even if you're not interested in making a purchase, we're still going to give you some information that will apply to your own training. So never fear, this is not just going to be a commercial. In case you're new to the sound of my voice, I'm Jeremy Lesniak. I'm your host for the show. I'm the founder here at Whistlekick, and everything we're doing is in support of the traditional martial arts. If you want to see everything we do, visit whistlekick.com. That's our online home. It's also the place to find our store. And you can use the code PODCAST15 to save 15% off anything, including our brand new strength and conditioning program. Everything for this show is on a whole separate website, and that's whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. The show comes out twice a week, and our goal at Whistlekick overall is to connect, educate, and entertain martial artists throughout the world. If you want to help the show and the work that we do, you can do a number of things. You can make a purchase, share an episode, follow us on social media. We're at Whistlekick everywhere. Tell a friend, pick up one of our books on Amazon, leave a review, or support our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Whistlekick is the place to go. You can support us for as little as $2 a month. And if you're willing to contribute $5 or more, you get original content. We started working on this strength and conditioning program months ago. In fact, the origins of this program come from this very show. Early on in the days of Whistlekick, we released some episodes around strength and conditioning and talking about a bunch of things related to physical, non-technique discipline and, and training. And we got questions on it. And in fact, a lot of questions ended up shifting over from Martial Arts Radio to First Cup. Many of you, I'm guessing most of you are aware of First Cup. It's our morning show. We do it live at 6.30 a.m. Eastern on YouTube weekdays. And I've been answering a ton of questions on training and physical development. And so for the last few months, we have been working on putting this program together. I'm no stranger to physical routines, whether it be martial arts or CrossFit or bodybuilding or anything like that. But I wanted to make sure that if we did something that it was not only well done, but different. I don't like just putting the whistle kick name on something without it being different and better. And so one of the things that we had going into this was we wanted to make a program that required no equipment. A lot of programs say, hey, you don't need any equipment. Then you find out that you need bands or you need a dumbbell or a kettlebell or a box or something. This program requires nothing. In fact, there aren't even... In fact, we don't even have anything in the program to let you use one. I'm sure you could modify things, but it is designed to be done simply with your body weight and a floor and a wall. And yes, I suppose you could say that a floor and a wall is some sort of equipment, but I haven't met anyone who has a house without a floor and a wall. There's a lot of value in training simply with body weight. And that value, especially for martial artists, is around understanding our body and how it works, building balance all the while we're building strength, building some cardiovascular fitness. And while this program is not designed to be balance specific or cardiovascular specific, if you follow it as it's written, you're going to achieve some benefits to both. In fact, it's hard to argue that you're not going to benefit in really every way. <laughs> that you might imagine physically, flexibility, strength, etc. And we did it that way because we wanted to make sure it was worth your time. There are a number of there are a number of principles that this program leverages and some of them are around frequency. And here's an example of some information that you may or may not know. The old way kind of the, the bro science way, if you're used to going to a gym and lifting weights, you might be used to this idea of lifting one day a week per body part. You know, you're going to do your biceps on one day a week. Well, the science doesn't support that. And the program that we've developed does not work that way. There are a lot of specifics, so I can't go into every scenario. But what you will see is that in every workout, you're going to be working your full body much like a martial arts class. And while there are movements in there that you'll be familiar with, push-ups, squats, 
things like that, that are really relevant and you probably have in your martial arts classes. There are also other movements that you might not be familiar with. And we did that intentionally. We also added in some martial arts movements because if it's a martial arts strength and conditioning program, why not work on some technique at the same time? And all the while you're building strength and working on martial arts technique, you're doing it at home and you're doing it on this regiment that we've designed that is going to give you great results and not leave you so sore that you can't get the best out of your classes, your training time. Here's a myth. I'm going to debunk this right now. If you finish up a workout, you know, you finish lifting or something like that, and you're really, really sore and it takes you two, three days, you've actually done damage to your body and you've done more than you really should be doing. Because guess what? It's not the actual work that makes your body respond. It's the recovery. So take the idea of lifting some weights. It's not during the act of lifting weights that my body gets stronger. It's in repairing and adapting to that stimulus. This is why lifting weights that aren't heavy enough doesn't do anything. You have to lift something heavy enough that your body says, oh, I need to respond. I need to change my physical structure to adapt to how this stimulus, this weight or whatever it is, is asking me to respond. Your body becomes more efficient. If you look at the human body from the perspective of efficiency, it's pretty amazing. And it's a great guideline whenever you're doing anything physical, whether you're talking about your own training or maybe you're an instructor and you're looking at developing the physical skills of your students. The more you start to see the body as this adaptation machine that responds best to frequency rather than trying to get it all done at once, the better off you'll be. Think about it like studying. Which is better? To spend some time every day learning to understand a subject or cramming the night before a test. I know plenty of us have probably stayed up late studying for a test, but how long did that information stay? The same thing is true when you ask your body to respond to any kind of stimulus, whether it's weight or you're trying to get faster, whatever it is. Frequent and moderate, appropriate stimulus is what's going to generate the best long-term results and carries the added bonus of not injuring you. What else are you going to find in this program? You're going to find sheets to track your workouts. Not really anything revolutionary there, but what I find surprising is how many people do some kind of physical routine and they don't track their progress. You're not going to progress so much from day to day and even week to week that you're going to see these dramatic changes. So it's important to write things down Hey, if you could do 15 push-ups last week and you can do 16 this week, that's a huge improvement. In fact, it's unlikely you're going to add a push-up every week indefinitely because that would be adding 52 push-ups in a year. That's nuts. So tracking your progress, whether it's this program or any program, is absolutely critical. I'm sure I don't have to tell martial artists that learning how to do things correctly is going to give you the best benefit And to that end, we have videos that are freely available as part of this program to show you the movements, especially the ones that you might not be familiar with. Because we tried to add enough tried and true movement with some creative stuff to keep you engaged and excited and train you in new and different ways. And the last principle that comes out of science that we leveraged in this is the idea of of having workout blocks. You'll probably talk to some people who say, you know, varying your workout every time creates the best stimulus. Well, yes and no. Uh, There is some benefit to changing things up. But if you change things up too frequently, you lose the opportunity to get good at those things. And when you start to get good at a skill, that's when you start to be able to work on other things. If you think about lifting a weight in some new creative way, let's say some some funky thing you've never seen before, and I'm not even going to try to describe or name something, but just imagine it's, you pick up a dumbbell and it's something you've never done before. The first day, maybe two or three days that you do that movement, you're still going to be uncomfortable with it. But then as you start to understand, ah, this is how this works, then your body starts to say, okay, this is how this works. 
And this is something I'm being asked to do. And now I'm going to get not only better at it, more comfortable at it as your nervous system starts getting wired up, but I'm going to start putting up muscle to make this repetitive task easier. And because of that, we have three different blocks of several weeks each. And within each block, you have different workouts. And the workouts change, not just in movement, but in the way the movements are done from block to block. So you end up with weeks, months even, of programming. And then when you're done, circle back to the top. And this helps to prevent plateaus. It helps to keep you engaged. And, you know, let's face it, not getting too bored doing the same thing day after day after day. Now, for a little bit of the commercial piece of this, we are going to continue to develop this program. It is not done. And anyone who purchases it owns it forever. Not just the version that we have now, but all future versions. So as we add additional blocks, as we start to add options for people to adjust their programming depending on what their goals are, you will get in at the lowest price. We are debuting it at $19.99. I mentioned a code, the beginning and end of every episode. You can use that and the cost will only go up. You will not find a program anywhere close to as good, even half as good for twice the price. Show me anything that looks anywhere close to this for even 50 bucks. The programs I'm familiar with because we did a lot of research on pricing are generally 75 to $100. dollars are some of them more polished? Yeah. They've invested a lot more money in, in video. Well, which would you rather pay for? An adequate video and less money or spend an extra 80 bucks and get some shiny videos? Hopefully, it's not the latter because that's not what we have here. Will we improve the videos over time? Yeah, when people buy the program. So, hopefully I have your interest peaked. Hopefully you're willing to check this out. Head on over to whistlekick.com. We've got it in the store, the Whistlekick Strength and Conditioning Program. You'll see announcements about it on social media. It'll be linked from this episode of Martial Arts Radio. It's all over the place. And all we ask is that if you buy it, you not share it outside your home. If you're an instructor and you purchase this, feel free to incorporate some of these principles in your classes. But the way we are licensing this, and unfortunately I have to use a hard-edged word like that, it is not sold for running a class. It is not designed for that. And that is not what is uh, is permitted with it. So if you have questions on that or anything, if you have any questions at all, and the product description page does not answer it, email me. I'll tell you. We'll talk about it. We'll add it to an FAQ. My goal with this is that we can develop the best strength and conditioning program for martial artists ever created. I think we're already there, but that doesn't mean we're not going to keep going. Thanks for your time. Check out whistlekickmartialartsradio.com for more episodes, videos, links, social media, a whole bunch of stuff. Remember, we drop you two new episodes every week. And if you're willing to support the work that we're doing, you've got lots of options. You can make a purchase like we're talking about today. Use the code PODCAST15 to get 15% off. Or you could share an episode, maybe tell a friend or contribute to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash whistlekick. And I hope if you see somebody out there in the world wearing something with Whistlekick on it, you will introduce yourself. Say hi. Talk about what Whistlekick means to you. We'd love to hear your guest suggestions. Email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com, and remember our social media at Whistlekick everywhere. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day. 